Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Simon. This is Brett. Hello and it's always pop your nose. Bit of an essay. It's very an essay and he's waving. And welcome to the first episode of our one pound or less video games. Now I buy a lot of stuff to because I buy stuff to sell and I also collect stuff as well. So I managed to make that rhymed. I managed to make a lot of contacts in different places. So I sometimes get things at really good prices. So we're going to take a look at some games that I paid one pound for. And I'm going to tell you what they're worth, like the lowest price you could get for it, up to the highest price you could get. And then at the end, I'll tell you what sort of profits I could make at the lowest end or the highest end. So let's start with the first game. The first game is Need for Speed Undercover. Right. So Need for Speed Undercover. Now this is a bit weird, to be honest. Because, if you look at the cover, this is meant to be for display purposes only. So... Well, it clearly isn't now, is it? It must have been that when the person went in the shop to buy this, it was the last one, and they obviously couldn't... Either the person working there didn't realise you had to swap covers, or they lost the original cover and had to give them this one. But everything's inside, like all the details and everything all the leaflets the disc is all right so i paid a pound if i was to sell this at the bottom price you can get about two pounds fifty for it so more than double your money but you can get up to five pounds for this game so if i was going to sell that i would definitely make a bit of a profit but it is a bit different with that but i may be able to uh replace the inlay card or something with one from another box that i may have but that's or not a bad start like hey? or you keep it like that you could leave it like that the next game ghost squad gross gross <laughs> ghost squad on the nintendo wii again everything's in there now the only thing about this where i get my games from sometimes is you have to uh, be a bit careful because sometimes I always go through the boxes first and sometimes the game that it says on the outside isn't necessarily the game that's in the inside. But this one, lowest price, I could get £3 for it, so tripling my money again. Highest price is again about five fiver. So it's not too bad. It all depends on how and where you sell them. So if you were going to sell them at an auction, you'd put them as a job lot, you'll probably end up with a lower price. If you were selling them on, say, eBay or something, you can get anywhere between the lowest and the highest. And the next one, Minecraft Xbox One Edition. Now, this one surprised me. I don't know why. Well, because of the fact that it's the Xbox One Edition, and they've now gone on to the Bedrock Edition. Which isn't particularly very good. Okay. I thought that this probably wouldn't be worth a great deal. And I was very surprised that it is actually worth a decent bit of money. Because... I don't necessarily have a choice of picking and choosing what I'm going to keep out of what I'm offered. It's sort of like you look through it, you make sure there's actually something in the box, and then you buy everything. And this was actually sold between £10 and £15. So I was quite pleasantly surprised on that, so I could make some good money on this game. And it is in there, it's in good condition, so that's pretty good. And the next game... The Xbox 360, Fight Night Round 4. Right. I had a bit of a discussion with my wife about this because she's like, well, you'll sell that. I'm like, well, the thing is, the way of doing this is actually a really cheap way of building up a games collection. So I'm not sure if I am going to sell it yet. But this... Do you plan on keeping it? I may do. I might like, play it for a little bit and see if I like it. But this one sells for between £3.50 and five pounds so i would make a profit on this so it's pretty decent and again it's all there actually with everything i'm showing you i won't keep opening them now everything here is all there but when i do future episodes there may be some differences that actually there is one difference in a minute i'll show you something. and the next game ea sports mma for the xbox 360 <laughs> so mma this game Lowest price you could make, about £4. Highest price, £8. The other thing to remember, of course, is if you are selling these, your games, if you take them to a shop like CEX where they're going to sell them on, 
they're going to offer you a lot less than the lowest price they're worth. So if I took this to say CEX, I might get like £1.20 for it if I went there. But anywhere else you could sell it for between £4 and £8. So not a bad, bad price. And the next one, EA Sports FIFA Street. Now this one is what I was talking about, where you could have things a bit not quite as they seem. On this one, the box is broken, but I do have some spare boxes lying around from when I've bought stuff in the past and had empty boxes. But the other thing is, the game's in here, the information's in here, but in here is something a little bit extra because in here is FIFA two, like FIFA 15. And it's a disc only because it's just dumped in here. It's got a few scratches on it, but I'm going to try it out and see that it does play that one. So, will I split them up and sell them singly? Possibly. Or I might just stick them together and give somebody a nice little Brucey bonus. But what's the point? Uh, point. What's the price on that? Between £3, £5 again. But it's very pointless. If I change that box, I might be able to get up to the higher price. If I leave it like it is, I'll probably just go for the lower price. Either we'll way, there's see. no point to it. There's no profit in it. Well, unless it's you, apparently there's no point. <laughs> and the next one. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord of the Rings, the third age. I was actually surprised that they had this. Why? Because in this place where I buy a lot of games from, it's very rare that they've got... They do get some older games, but not too often. And this one was in this bunch, and I got it for a pound. And I was really surprised that I got it for that within this like group of games that I got. Because this game is between £9 and £12. So if I sell it, which um, I'm not because this is going in my collection, I could make a really nice profit on this. But that's the thing. In the way that I've been buying games, getting them this cheap, even if it's a game that I'm not massively into, it's so cheap, I could just build up a nice collection. And then if I want to at some point, I could sell off all the ones I don't want at a later date and buy something else that I do want. So for a Game Boy Advance game, I was uh, really happy with that. And the next one, Double Pack, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. Legend and Anniversary. So this is PSP games we've got now. So we've got Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, Anniversary and Legends. Singly, these are actually cheaper to buy than when they're in the double pack. Because together to buy, if you went to somewhere like um, CEX, on their own, they actually sell Anniversary for £5, Legend they sell for £3, right? And if you were to sell them to the shop, they'd only give you £1.20 for this one, £2 for this one. But selling them together on like this because they are in the box, this is worth 15 to 20 pounds. In CEX, they do sell them for 18 pounds. So you can get between 15 to 20 pounds for this. So I think this was a bargain at a pound. And the next one, Mercury. Mercury. There you go, Mercury on the, <coughs> excuse me, on, on the, the cough, PSP. Cough, excuse me. Now I do have a PSP and the irony is I bought it when it first came out and I used to play it quite a bit. And he hasn't used it since. And uh, I haven't played it for a while so I didn't build up a big collection of games. So when, when you've seen on this channel before when I've bought stuff from charity shops I have picked up a few PSP games and with these being so cheap I might keep them for the collection so I can play it at some point um, depending on one thing. If you find it. If I remember where I put it. So this game... He's lost it. This game sells for between two to three pounds. It's not a big money one, but it's not a loss. So that's pretty good. And the next one, Daxter. Daxter, lovely. Here we go. Another nice little game. Again, not a big money one. Three to five pounds for this game. But it's all there. So it's not bad. I like it. Well... I like all this stuff. And the next one, Test Drive. Test Drive Unlimited, actually. So, Test Drive Unlimited. It's a little bit more money, this one. This one will sell between 4 
and seven pounds. So not a bad little buy. I'll have fun playing. Now I do like racing games. The only thing is with the PSP is it, it's a smaller screen. I really do. I think I've been spoiled. I like playing my video games on bigger screens. And the next one, Coded Arms Contagion. Contagion. <laughs> Either way. So again, nice little game. Bit of bending on the uh, booklet here, but that's nothing. So this one actually is a pretty good sell one. I was looking this up on eBay and there is only one on there at the moment in the sold listings that is sold and he sold for 13 pounds. And there was other ones that are up for sale that go, that are asking quite a bit more than that. Some of them are well into the twenties. So if you said 13 pounds, you're probably about there. <coughs> if you was at CEX, it'd be about seven pounds to, to sell it to them or for them to sell it or something like that. So if you said between seven and 13 pounds, you're pretty much on. Anything above that I think is a little bit too high, but that's not a bad price, is it? Really? So here's the thing. I paid 12 pounds for all these games. So if I was to sell them all at the lowest prices I found, I would sell them for 66 pounds which would give me a profit of £54. If I sold every single one of them, if I had a really good lucky day, at the highest price, I would sell them for £103, therefore making £91 profit. But remember, it all depends where you sell it, and how you sell it, and who wants to buy it on the day. Because if you're selling it on eBay, you've got to take fees out of that. If you're selling it at auction, You've got to take fees out. They're probably going to sell it at a job lot and it'll go for a lot less. So depending on how you sell it, it's depending on what prices you're going to make. The only problem is for me is a lot of these games I don't already have. So I'm probably definitely going to sell three of these games, which will still make me a profit over what I paid for them all anyway. And I'm going to keep some to see what I can, what I like and what I don't like. So for now, that's going to be it for this video. We've got some more one pound or less video games coming up. We also have some games consoles that I bought. One of the games consoles has a really good surprise with it and a really bad surprise with it. So wait to see what that one is. We've also got other video games that I've paid more for. We've got toys that I'm buying and selling and various other things. So if you like buying and selling videos, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and we hope you like this and you'll see this. Yeah, sorry. We hope you like this and you'll see us again in the next video. And bye he'll bye. Learn how to speak English. Bye. And he's waving. And guess what? What? He still thinks you should really learn a bit more English. You keep saying that. You really should. Okay. And he's going to backflip. <laughs>